Hello everyone, and today we are going to be customizing a Schleich horse. I'm going to be taking you through it step by step through my entire process. So I hope you enjoy, and here we go. So I'm mainly going to be talking for this part. So the very first step you want to do is you want to know what coat color you want your horse to be. So I am painting this horse a buckskin color after my adorable little kitty cat here, Buttons, who recently passed away. So I'm painting her a buckskin because it's the closest horse color to a calico. So once you have your coat color done, then we come on to step number two. Step number two, knowing what model you're going to pick. So once you have the color picked out, you want to just you can Google just any pictures of Schleich horses. And once you've found the model that suits the color that you like, then you're good to go. Make sure the model is actually available because sometimes they're retired models and no longer available, which can be really disappointing. So I decided to go with the Morgan because Morgans can be all coat colors, so they can be buckskins. So that's step number two. So let's move on to step number three. Step number three knowing how they're exactly gonna look. So I use an app, I can't remember the name of it, but I will show you a picture of what it looks like and also a picture of what I'm planning on her to look like. Once you have all that done, then all you need to do is buy some paint or if you already have the acrylic paint, then you're good. Number four, start painting. Here's the craft supplies. Acrylic paint, I'm going to be using white, light yellow, classic caramel, and jet black. And some paint brushes, you're gonna want kind of a medium sized one and a smaller one for details. Something to put your paint on, like a paint palette, a paper plate, or something like that. And you're also gonna want something to cover your surface, like newspaper, or there's tons of other options out there, but I'm not gonna list them all, but I'm going to be using newspaper. A paper towel and some water. And of course, the model horse you're going to be painting. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to coat her in white paint. I'm going to be doing several thin layers. So here we go. So the first thing to do when doing a thin coat is you wanna tap your paintbrush into a little tiny bit of paint. Then you wanna tap that into some water. And then you're going to want to tap it onto your paper towel to get off the excess water. And then very carefully just start painting your horse. You want to go along the way their fur grows. So if their fur grows, well, up to their neck is kind of what I'm doing. But you just don't want to go side to side. You want to go along the way their fur grows. You can go up or down. You want to continue doing this. And you're going to want to paint several thin layers. This can take five to six layers of paint sometimes. base coats later she is white at least as white as I'm going to have her be now as you can tell on the tail right here I did not paint because I'm planning on that being black and black is a very very strong color so it will erase her redness so she is very pretty white right now nice and dry after I've let her dry so now I'm going to start to mix up her buckskin color so here we go to make her buckskin color, I'm going to be mainly using classic caramel with a little bit of light yellow. So let's get started on mixing this up. And there is my beautiful buckskin color. So now I'm going to go ahead and paint my beautiful girl this beautiful buckskin color. paint later she looks great she is a beautiful buckskin color now we're gonna do some of her markings because I want two high stockings in the back and a few socks we're gonna give her her gorgeous 
shaded black legs, give her the rest of her tail, we're going to do her mane, and I don't know if you noticed in the picture, but I'm going to give her a marking, specifically known as the badger marking, which is a very rare marking. I think it's very pretty, so I'm super excited to do the details, so let's get started. And to start on the details, I'm going to paint her knees and her hocks black, as well as her nose, tip her ears black, and give her the top half of her tail black, as well as some of her braids will be black, but one of them will be white. So I just want to let you know that, so I'm going to go ahead and do some of these pretty details, so I'm going to get started. gorgeous girl looks like I am super super sorry I didn't film the rest of her tail getting painted or her mane getting painted it was just super tedious and super hard to do so I didn't do that on camera but I am now going to film me painting her legs and her really unique badger marking gorgeous girl with her gorgeous badger marking. If you've never seen a badger blaze, it probably looks a little funny to you. Only three more things left to do. Paint her eyes, paint her hooves, and add some paint sealer. So to paint her eyes, all I'm going to do is dip a toothpick into some paint. I know I didn't mention this in craft supplies because I know some people like to just use the end of the paintbrush. So then you want to very carefully just tap it on her eye. This is going to be very hard for me, so I'm going to do this off camera. So I'll be right back once I'm done. And now I have her eyes all painted, so, and I did add some adorable black shading around them. So now I'm going to go ahead and paint her feet. I'm going to be using the color I used for her coat color, and I'm going to add just the tiniest bit of black in it to get it just a little darker. last steps we're going to be painting her with this matte varnish and it is particularly used for acrylic paint so I'm going to go ahead and paint her in this up from head to hoof. Just a heads up before you use a matte varnish make sure your model is completely dry before using or it may mess up the spot in its coat. Your beautiful horse all paint sealed. Now this is a complete option. I'm going to go ahead and add clear fingernail polish to her eyes and in her nostrils. You can clearly choose not to do this but I always think this adds a little life to my model horse. At the last minute I decided to change her marking. So here it is. It is still a badger marking and just called a long badger. Bum ba da bum. She's all done. So I'm going to go ahead and slowly turn her around here so you can see all her beautiful shades and how I did everything on her. If you want to go ahead and pause the video to look at it a little more, you totally can. And of course, I've come up with a name for this beautiful girl. It is She-Ra after my kitty cat buttons, which we kind of had a nickname for her. It was She-Ra, which means princess warrior. So I hope you love She-Ra, and if you do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell, so you never miss out on any of my videos. And always hit the like button. 